know, 2000 Buddha fans have got to go there and hopefully, hopefully roars onto a victory, but you know what it is, it's, it's hard to see now. I can't take it at Norwich, I can't stand Norwich, it's that club that just irritates me. Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another match preview. Big game this one. One that everyone's been looking forward to for quite a while, I would expect. It's Borough versus Derby County tomorrow, Riverside Stadium, 3 pm kickoff. And I'm excited for it, man. I, I'm actually pretty excited for this game. Now, Derby fans, Borough fans watching this video, there's been a lot between us, been a lot of history over the last couple of years. It's blown into proportion on social media, a lot of it on Twitter where Derby fans have taken to it and said, oh, Steve Gibson this, Steve Gibson that. Butter fans this, Butter fans that. And I'm not saying that at all, just then. Butter fans have gone back and Derby fans and struggled for the chairman, rightly so, and gone to Derby County about the whole FFP and, you know, going to court and what have you and everything else. Now, Derby County, away from the all that sort of stuff, in terms of on the pitch of Derby County, they've done brilliant so far this season. Absolutely fantastic. Minus 21 points start the season. They're 18 points now, I think. Uh, four points from safety. Fair play to Wayne Rooney, fair play to Derby County. At the end of the day, you know, you've got to show some sort of respect in there. And he's done a fantastic job, Wayne Rooney. Let's be honest with it. I, you know, I look at it, and as much as what I see, you know, fan base is going at each other, I go, yeah, but on the pitch, Derby County, fair play. Uh, actually, fair play, like, they've come across minus 21 points. They could have just, like, set off fair enough at the start of the season, you know. Didn't really have a full team. Had to play some of the kids, and they could have just lied down. Then they said, oh, well, we're trying to accept the relegation, but they didn't. You know, they got back up a bit, dust themselves off, you know, and ultimately went out there and got some results. And now, you know, good times are going for Derby County in terms of form. You know, they've been getting a couple of wins behind them. But in the last game, they beat Hull 3 1 from the highlights. Look like, you know, dominant performance. So I looked at it and went, fair enough. I mean, this won't be even easy for us. You know, this is going to be a tough test. And I know the 23rd, but Derby County is one of the informed sides down there if you want. I know some bang average teams around them as well, being Barnsley, Peter Burra, and if he's another team around them. But, at the end of the day, you know, they can only do whatever they can do. And, uh, you know, beating the teams in front of them. They're doing that at Derby County. And so far, you know, 21st at the league table. Look like they may stay up. Four points from safety. Still a fair few games to go. So, you never know. But as for Middlesbrough, we're looking very good again. Um, you know, beat Manchester United. Went into QPR games, which we could have won it. Joe Lummy made a bit of an error. Could have cleared the ball. Kept hold of it. Will have obviously gone to the ball. I put it back of the net, but... You're thinking of Joe Lumley with them sort of scenarios. It's not the first one he's done this season. He did two at Man United, where the first one was kind of not his fault, kind of his fault. Where about to come off Dale Fry, I think it was, and him sort of colliding. Ball went to Sancho and he hit the crossbar. And in the second half, he just sort of went to boot the ball, miss kicked it, and then Fernandez hit the post. And then, of course, we've got a QPR. And he's made the same mistake again, where about you know, he keeps hold of it. Joe, just kick it long, man. Honestly, just boot it long. If you don't know where to support it, just boot it long. It doesn't matter. It's booted along, but do not give away a go at that. Um, you know, we want to get into the playoffs. I'm sure he does as well. I'm sure the whole team does. I'm trying to single him out, I'm just saying. When that performance there, we could have won it 2-1, you may say. But, it's, you know, we took a point from it. Okay, a mistake was made. We bounced back, though, when I got the goal. A mistake on their side was made from, you know, Albert Dorma's own goal. And, you know, but I took a point from QPR, which I was happy with before the game, because I did say 1-1. I was unlucky, it was 2-2. You know, we took a point from it, so... I'm happy with it, uh, but it has to be three points tomorrow for me. It has to be, and I know Derby are on form, and I know there's a lot going into the game. I think, you know, the atmosphere will be absolutely booming. I think Derby County have brought 2.1, 2.2k down, and as far as I know, there's only about 3,000 tickets left inside the Borough end, so it's going to be a booming atmosphere, and no doubt it will be as well, you know. There's been so much sort of share over the last couple of years between both football clubs. Of course, the point deduction, Derby fans raised the point deduction, Mel Morris is no saint in their eyes. Derby fans certainly don't like Mel Morris. They certainly don't like Steve Gibson. But Steve Gibson didn't do anything wrong, in my opinion. He just went and followed up and said, well, hang on a minute. Who's brought the rules? Derby County brought the rules. Therefore, you have to face your punishment. Obviously, well, she was on the other foot. And Derby County would have took us to court. And then Borough would have got the point of deduction. And been saying, yeah, I know, but you brought the rules. So, in my opinion, you know, if you're going to break the rules, then I'm sorry, but there's a punishment to follow. And this is the punishment. And they might be saying, oh, you know, he's keeping it going for too long and all that. Listen. I don't get into all that, I just look at it and go, okay, well, well, you know, what was the initial punishment? Minus 21 point deduction. Fair enough. Sheffield Wednesday went for the same thing. But of course, Derby fans don't like it. Derby County fans certainly don't like Middlesbrough. 
And tomorrow, just make sure you're nice and safe, people. I know there's a lot of um, elderly or older Borough fans, should I say, um, you know, worrying about tomorrow. I wouldn't worry too much. i just say get into the stadium, keep yourself safe. And there might be some lunatics that try and start fights or whatever, but just don't get too involved in it. Just try and keep yourself to yourself. And, you know, just try and get to the stadium. Watch a football match and after a football match. We don't need to fight. Just watch a football game. Enjoy the atmosphere. And then, of course, go home, make your journey home and, you know, have a good Saturday night with a takeaway. Why not? But... As I say, tomorrow's a tough game. I wouldn't change the line from the QPR game. I thought it was our strongest team we could have possibly put out. Score prediction tomorrow, as tough as it's going to be. I just I just fancy us tomorrow. I do. And I'm going to go for put a free Derby County 1. And tomorrow, I will be back in on the bet as well. So get on it, people. I will post on my Instagram. Link is in the description. Free 1, but tomorrow. I don't care who scores. Let's go and get the free points and keep charge up this table. Dabby fans, safe travel to the Riverside as always, and I uh, will see you guys for the Match Day vlog tomorrow night. Take care till then, peace out.